Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Look, guys, PNB Rock, man. We got breaking news on PNB Rock getting shot. Somebody tried to rob him at the Roscoe's Chicken. So he basically was inside there eating. He just ordered his food. And as soon as he was doing the tap to pay, somebody came into the front door and stuck their hand into there with a whole Mac 10 like a Drake. And basically, they let off a lot of shot. They let off a hole with a switch. They had a switch on it. And unfortunately, man, condolences, PNB Rock got hit. He got rushed immediately to get recovery and to get, um, basically to get help. They're doing a procedure and the operation right now to make sure that he could still survive and everything like that. Witnesses saw the gunman at, that attempted to rob him. Once he walked into the, uh, to the Roscoe's, he tried to basically get in the middle of the transaction that PNB Rock was doing, and he tried to grab his wallet and the money he had. He had a Miri jeans stacked with thousands of dollars. Like, I think he had over $25,000 on him, and he went to go pay for his food. And that's when the dude stuck his arm in and went and ran inside the store with the whole Mac and Drake and basically... He tried to rob PNB Rock and the people have seen it. He got caught red handed. And so basically he took off as soon as the shots went off. Everybody started ducking. The witnesses have seen everything happen. They started ducking into the booths. They started recording. Some people were recording. Some people tried to yell for help. Some people were running to the back. The workers, the workers ran into the back, dropped their apron and called for the authorities to come and to get the ambulance to come and get him because if they didn't call in time, it would have been a lot worse. They had to come quick to get him to safety and everything like that. He was leaking all over the place, all over the restaurant. And so a lot of the people that was there, they seen the guy run out, but he ran out and low key got like away somehow. And so the footage, they're still reviewing it and they're trying to make sure that Basically, he gets uh, caught up and gets the consequences for what this dude just did. So this look, this looks like a big setup. But um, that somebody has spotted PNB Rock wh while he was walking into the store, and they waited for him to basically get to the counter at the register. And before he paid for his tab, before he paid for the bill and the food of everybody he came with, somebody came from behind and surprised his whole entire group and tried to hit a lick on him. And he tried to poke PNB Rock. One thing you guys got to understand is that it's it's a crazy world out here, especially for these rappers where anybody is trying them at any place. This whole situation just reminds me of the Lil TJ situation where he was inside the Chipotle and this whole thing happened with PNB Rock at the freaking Roscoe's. And so somebody was following PNB Rock. They spotted him. He was wearing his jewelry. It's easy to spot. He's a tall person and he basically got caught lacking like somebody has seen his car and they kept following it and the security never found that that they were being spied on the security didn't look in the rearview mirror and make three left turns and three right turns to see if somebody's following him if anybody knows anything out there y'all gotta understand that you gotta make sure you're not being followed everywhere you gotta do your three left turns three right turns because if they would have did that in this situation, they would have knew that somebody was following them. And basically, with this whole thing is that they kind of didn't do that. And so the guys that ended up following him to the restaurant, they just waited until he was going to pull out his wallet. They knew he was going to pay for everything. PNB Rock has millions of dollars. He got an advance. He got a whole deal. He walks around with $20,000 or more in cash on him, in his pockets, in his jeans. And so they know he's going to be the one that's paying for him. He's the rich man in this whole situation. So they seen the rich dude and he's a rapper. And so they tried him because they know that like he they're not going to call uh 911 right off the bat just because they're rappers they think that they're going to try to handle it in the streets or whatever or that he's just going to give it up because it's too much of a risk to be there arguing with a man who's got a whole drake and the mac and he's trying to sh hold up the roscoe's hostage man y'all gotta understand that PNB Rock is going through a lot right now and his people that was with him, they're just like distraught and it's a tough time because condolences to his family. They're going to come out and report on everything, but this is all senseless, man. This stuff needs to stop. Y'all got to understand that people need to just keep the peace and stop doing this. If everybody just came together and like really put each other on on how to get this bread, 
then we wouldn't have people needing to go and rob PNB Rock. Like PNB Rock provides for his neighborhood and his community to some extent. And so the people that are around him, now they're missing out on certain things that can't happen because PNB Rock has got to recover. He's got to take time to get his health back together, his safety. He just went through a whole reality check in this situation because it's like one moment he's up, he's living life, floating, doing everything on cloud nine, getting all this money. The girls are coming in. The music is doing good. The next thing you know, you walk into a Roscoe's and some crazy dude comes in with a Mac 10 and a Drake and tries to up a pole on you and you ended up getting hit up. And so now it's going to be people who are going to be spinning the block and riding for PMB Rock, man. Everybody out there in New York, New Jersey area, they all go with PMB Rock, like wherever he's from, man. They're going to his hood is going to be out there like looking for whoever did this because this guy is still on the run. So once they review that footage and that um, CCTV by the businesses in the area, they're going to be able to pinpoint and locate and track the license plate of the guy who got in a getaway driver car and basically took off while he's the one that ended up being the trigger man. And anybody that's involved with that person, they're going to end up getting caught up on too, because you got to understand if you associated with this or that and like this kind of thing happens. Most people who end up being the getaway driver who ended up being an accomplice are going to get to be the ones that tell. They're going to be the ones that snitch or tell or like they're going to end up being in the hot seat, getting interviewed, looked at, and then they're going to offer him a reward money to, to rat out the person that did this. And so it's just a ticking time bomb and it's just a matter of time until the person who did this gets caught and gets turned in because everybody's going to be watching. A lot of people are PMB rock fans. A lot of y'all out there are rocking with PMB rock. And so y'all got to understand that these dudes are at the going to have to have the consequences to the repercussions of the actions that they committed out there because due to the fact that you can't just be doing this type of stuff in public, like Roscoe's hasn't came out and made a statement or anything like that yet, but it's on the news that they're out there. They basically closed the restaurant down for the rest of the evening. Like the windows is broken. There's damaged goods on the inside and it's got everybody being scared in that neighborhood now. Like this was a quiet neighborhood to begin with. This was not in the hood. This was not a hood situation. Like real life, they went to a whole entire restaurant commercial property area. Like this was dang near like an outdoor strip mall. And so like for this to be happening there, that's how you know that they got followed there. This was some sort of setup where they had caught this man and seen him, but he didn't see them. And so they ended up getting in their cars and following like they must have went after the jewelry. They must have wanted the money. It's like it could have been a Saswaka situation where they could have tried to snatch his chain. But because of the fact that they waited until he was paying at the register inside of the Roscoe's, that's how you know that it was money motivated and that these guys were watching him and pocket watching him really literally. And then they went after the money and the jewels in hand and try to make Make sure that nobody did anything and so basically it's a lot of rumors coming out somebody could have busted back from the security and so that is all yet to be confirmed and so everything right now is about to be in the works i'm gonna come out with another update and try to talk to his manager so tune in for the next video man and we're gonna catch you on the next one